What's up guys and in this week's video we are doing one, the one room challenge on free maps. So this is going to be a series until Black Ops 6 comes out, which Black Ops 6 comes out next week or next week after, I don't know. So we're going to be doing free maps, Shadows of Evil, The Giant and Dorizon Drac. Let me know on what other maps you want me to do the one room challenge on because I have every single map. So, to the person that um, said I didn't have every single map, suck it. I do have every single map. With the intro out of the way, let's just get right to today's video. Now, when I first saw this scene, I honestly thought it was a sex scene, but it's actually not a sex scene. And when I realized it wasn't a sex scene, I was very, very depressed. Okay, so the rules are I'm not allowed to buy that door. I'm only allowed in this one room, so it's very hard. So what we're gonna do? Is gonna, oh, how do I meet? How do I? Oh, that's how. Okay, we got max ammo. That's gonna be really useful. Get that. Don't really need that, but anyways. Now that we've turned on the um, what do you call it? Um, quick revive. We should survive a longer time, so that's pretty good. Now, I don't know what map we're going to have to hire around on, but uh, place your uh, bets in the comment section down below on what round uh, you think I'm going to make it to. Now, I think I'm going to make it to round... I'll be happy with round 6 or round 8. That is my prediction. I can't wait to see the predictions when this video is uploaded. Uh, let's grab this quick revive. Just in case we get double swipes. How do we know I guess that's one good thing about Quick Revive is that if you go down when you have Quick Revive solo, uh, so with Quick Revive, if you're playing solo, you basically have three lives or four lives if you're including the li extra life that you get from. Um, wait, do you get four lives or do you get three lives? I have no idea because I'm pretty sure. You can buy the um, revive three times, so yeah, technically you get four lives, which is kind of cool. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, because the goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I know you guys can make that possible. I know I didn't say that last video, I think. I don't know, I don't remember what I did for last video. Oh yeah, that's right. Last video, I um, played Warzone. You guys loved that video. Uh, it got 26 views, which is pretty awesome. Uh, round three, it's starting to get a little bit hectic, but it's okay. Oh my god, minigun. Let's go. Uh, brrr, let's go. Now, if we get lucky with miniguns and nukes, I think we might make it to round 9. It really just depends. It really does. Uh, let's buy this. The RK5, and let's buy the Shiva. Now, if the Gobble Gum Machine was in the starter area, we could have hit the Gobble Gum Machine to try and get wall power. Um, but the Gobble Gun Machine is not in the starter area of Shadows of Evil, so that sucks. We can't get, um, you know, war power and make it to at least round um, 12 or some shit like that. Now, I have absolutely no idea on how long this video is going to go for. And if you enjoy um, the thumbnail, why my brother draws my else? thumbnails now. That's why my videos are once a week, because uh, he has other commissions and other stuff to do. Um, and, the th and he always does an awesome job with his, with his drawings. So if you want to check him out, the link to his Instagram will be in the description, like in the last video. Like we can you believe that 
just happened? Now, I wonder what's better, the RK5 or the Shiva? Huh. I have absolutely no idea. I, I would go as far as to say that the RK5 is better than the Shiva. Okay, it's getting a little bit hectic. That's fine. It's okay if it's getting a little bit hectic. Just gotta train them up a little bit. I wonder what the highest round is for, um... Wait, starter room challenge, uh, for Shadows of Evil. Oh shit, um, what am I freaking doing bro, oh my god. Okay, go around, let's go, I'm absolutely the best. Sorry I'm not talking, I'm literally concentrated so goddamn hard right now, I'm sweating. And uh, as you can clearly see, T, uh, T, what the fuck? I'm, I am so stupid. As you can clearly see, I am not that good at this game. Never have. Probably never will be good at this game. Oh, I completely forgot um, that um, Shadows of Evil has these rounds. What are these rounds called? I mean, I usually just call them free rounds because these uh, things aren't usually that hard to kill. Um, so that's cool. Okay, I, I gotta make sure not to die here. Um, look, I didn't even know that you could slide in this game. That's how, like, newbie I am with this shit. Like, I've done a couple of uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies videos, but, like, those are the only times I've basically played this game. Which is crazy. Like, I still remember that round 30 Ascension gameplay. Like, first of the time I'm playing Ascension, and I get round 30, which was insane. And you guys loved that video. And the funny thing is... All the videos that, all the maps I've played for the first time and have done a video on them, you guys have absolutely fucking loved them because they've got like juice to it, you know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta concentrate a little bit here. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's throw some nades. Two, three, four. You hit like a baby. I'm dead here, never mind, I'm not dead. I don't know freaking how. Jesus Christ, the training techniques are unreal. Yeah, I'm dead here. Okay, that's fair. That's okay, I deserve that. I literally got myself in a corner and absolutely fumbled myself. Okay, let's grab this new. Uh, we might get the round eight. Depends. Uh, let's quickly just grab this, uh, quick revive real quick. We'll use the Shiva, since the Shiva is a... I think the Shiva may be better than the RK5. The RK5 is autumn, like, tappy, like, it's a burst round. Oh, shit. I completely forgot about this fucking black thing. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, no, nah, no way we're... There's no way we're, um... Getting a high round on this. I completely forgot about the um Magua. Well shit. Um, what do I get here? Okay, yeah, no, we're dead here. We're dead. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna... I completely forgot the Magua. Fuck. Well, round eight is our um limit on that one apparently. Uh let's just get right to the next one. Okay, so now we're on the giant. Now this room's a little bit bigger and uh, it doesn't have quick revive, so I don't think we're gonna survive very long. I think probably round six will be the limit because there is no guns like wall buys in this area. Oh. Bruh, I, I just gotta shut the fuck up, honestly. Like, I, I, there is more than one gun. Why must I give you my money? There's the Shiva and the RK-5, so I'm guessing the Shiva and the RK-5 are probably in every single spawn room. Which is pretty cool, I guess. And... I, I love the RK-5, I don't know why. It reminds me of, um, the pistol that you get on the transit bus. 
I think it's uh, R2 3-2, I think it was, or some shit. I'll probably put it up on screen if I can find a photo of the goddamn gun. Now, I did promise for my videos to be high quality, man. I think they're already good enough as it is. Uh, with, I mean, my last video, the Warzone video, was like one of my best videos, in my opinion, like best edited videos that I've done in a while. Um, and that was my first ever time editing a Warzone video. I edited it like I would with a multiplayer video, which worked out pretty well. Usually with YouTube videos, all you have to do is literally just cut out all the, like, dead silence. Cut out all the boring talk, all the random shit that people won't enjoy. I completely forgot what I was talking about. I have a memory of a fucking goldfish. My god. Jesus Christ. Um, round threat, we're actually doing pretty good. Now, I would be adding captions, but I can't be stopped sitting there for hours on end, but typing out every single word that I bloody say. That shit just takes way too long. I know there's like AI generated, um, uh, what do you call it? I completely forgot what it's called, like, with the, um, no, when it's gonna call it dub. Oh, subtitles, that's the one. Uh, I can't be fucked, like, typing every individual, uh, word for the subtitles. Yes, I forgot. Have you ever, like, had a word on the tip of your tongue and, like, you gotta say it, but you can't say it, and you get so frustrated about it. That's me on the frickin' daily, bro. Not even joking. Like I think about uh, like a random word, I try to say it and I can't say it, and I and I f sound like a goddamn idiot when I'm talking to my friends, and they're like, t -t 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 "Today, Junior." That's why I added that uh, little Happy Gilmore meme in the last video, which was pretty funny. I thought it was funny. I probably put it up on screen again because I'm a bloody idiot. Oh my god, double points. Let's go. Double points is absolutely the best. Now, something that is coming that's going to be different on my YouTube channel is... Oh, it's not going to come on this YouTube channel. It's going to go on my second YouTube channel. So, I'm going to be making a VOD channel for uh, my streams and all that other stuff. So, you guys have stuff to watch. It's just going to be random games that I decide to play and stream, basically. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. I'll leave a link to that when I make it in the description. I don't think I've made it yet. Actually, no, yes I have, I think. Yeah, I have, because I've posted, like, a, um, Apex stream on that channel, and I haven't posted on that YouTube channel ever freaking since. That's the funny thing, like, I literally told myself that I would post every day on that YouTube channel, and I'm like, oh, I can't do it. It's crazy. Now, realistically, I should be posting my VODs on this, on my main, but I feel like my main should be just edited content, like, actual good content, because my stream's not even that goddamn good. Let's be honest here. If if you're like a fan of my of my um if you're a fan of me and you've seen my streams, you know that that shit is boring as hell, it is dry as hell, it is the definition of just shit. I think I'm probably gonna survive a pretty long time on this map. I feel like we should have done this map first. It would have uh well, actually, no, I don't, mm, I don't know on how long I'm going to survive. I'm going to keep it at, I'm not going to change my round estimate on this, um, map. Wait, have I told you guys to leave your round estimate for this map? I don't know. Um, if I haven't said to place down your predictions for this map, 
place down your round predictions in the comment section down below for this map as well. So basically, you have the Shadows of Evil round, then you have the Giant round, and then you have the next uh, map. I completely forgot the map's name. I think it's Dorizendrak. I'm pretty sure it was. You know, realistically, I should have done the three most popular maps on this goddamn game, but I didn't. I think for streams, for tomorrow's stream, I think I might do three up for um, one room challenges, or I might do all the um, zombie maps in Black Ops 3 and post it online. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. The Shiva is actually really good. I love the Shiva. The headshot multiplier on the thing is actually kind of crazy, not gonna lie. We're around six at the moment. Going pretty good. Really strong right now. Let's go, Poggers. I just need to not uh, trap myself. That's the one rule in uh, COD is to not sit in a goddamn corner. I learned that after playing Black Ops 2 for two years straight and camp thinking, oh, camping in corners is the best way to play play zombies. Not, nah, it is freaking not. You survive a high round if you actually train the zombies. I know that's like normal information, but as like a 14 year old, I didn't even know that. Wait, I think I was 14. I don't know what age I was when I was when I first started playing Black Ops 2. Die! Yes. Round 7. Let's go. And we got 10,000 points. Absolute pog champs. Oh my god, Hellhounds! Yay! Fetch me their souls! Yeah, you know your boy loved these rounds. Our hands are my fucking favorite. I think the scariest, like, uh, mid round. I think the scariest, um, special round that I've ever come across, like a special zombie, would have to be. The clown zombies from Infinite Warfare, I think. I think I've already said that in a YouTube video before, some shit. I don't know, but they're bloody goddamn scary. And also, Brutus, oh my god. That green big freaking alien that has like testicles on his fucking top of his head. I, he is very scary. Um, when I first saw the uh, big green alien with testicles on his head. I, I laughed and then I got brutally murdered by Brutus. So I got I got karma. It was basically insta karma. Like he just one shot my ass. It was not fun. Now realistically I should be going for their head because their headshots do more damage. I think after I do the three rounds, like the three maps I think I'm probably going to search up the leaderboard for like the highest rounds uh, for starter room challenges and probably rate my um, skill level with every single map that I do, I think. I think that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. Um, we all know I'm stupid. Um, Round 9, let's go, Poggers. Two, three, four. Oh shit, that's a bad idea. <clears throat> okay, uh, next map.
Uh, okay, time for the rise track. We ain't gonna talk about last freaking game. I really cannot be stuffed. That that was the most stupidest gameplay that I have ever freaking done. Okay, so let's see what we get from here. As we had hoped. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. That that's funny. That that's literally self like crooked vibe, but better. It's great. Now, yet again, this uh, area is bigger, I think. And the Crooked Vibe is here. Yay! So we have uh, extra lives. And I don't think this map has mini bosses, to my memory, because um, I used to like play this map every single day because I was. Um, I used to play this map once a day. Uh, to try and complete the Easter egg for this map and gave up after a week because I just can't be stuck with it. Um, I might have to get someone in the future, like one of my friends, to walk me, walk, like, walk me through it because I'm a visual learner. I do not learn on how to do something unless I'm actually doing it, which is kind of crazy. Uh, purple. Anywhere but here. That's useful, but not useful at the same time. Because we haven't opened up any doors. And the anywhere but here uh, spawns you in areas that have you have opened. Which is... Cool. Okay, so zombies are starting to get a little bit hectic. I think... It, the giant is probably gonna be the highest round I'm mega to. I mean, if I make it to a higher round on this map, it's probably because I'll probably get wall power. That will be my guess. The test subjects must Man, as soon as I get wall power, it's all my fuck. I, that was bad idea. Actions. That is not what I wanted. I think if I get wall power, I'm thinking of getting the Shiva. The Shiva would be pretty good to get wall power on. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want that. I think for now, I'm probably gonna quickly get the RK5 to just like build up like just uh, points so we can keep on hitting the gobble gum machine. Honestly, I can't wait to stream tonight. I think I'm going to stream tonight, yeah. Probably for like two hours, maybe. I mean, it'll be pretty fun, because uh, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be streaming uh, Fortnite for the very first time. Actually, no, in a while, actually. It's been two years since I've streamed Fortnite. And my friend um, introduced me to uh, Fortnite Festival, which which I was playing last night, and I had an absolute blast. What forces does Richtofen seek to harness? Has he really changed for the better? Can the universe be saved from itself? Ah, we got wall power. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy the Shiva. Ah, we bought the Shiva. Let's go. Now, Shiva should be a one-shot until a... Never mind, it's not a one-shot. I take that back. It's a one-shot headshot. Let's go, buggers. I mean, this, uh, the gun's headshot multiply is pretty good, so... To save ammo, we're going to grab this nuke. Which is pretty good. And uh, another good thing about the Shiva being a wall buy is that if we get enough points and we run out of ammo with the Shiva, we can literally just go to the wall buy and just buy ammo. That's great. Ooh, Hellhounds is on this map as well. I didn't even know that. I completely forgot Hellhounds was on this map. Completely forgot. Alright, 
I think the round prediction for this map, I'm going to guess round 12. That is my guess. But you guys probably guessed lower because of my recent gameplay in this video. I hope that I just didn't like play two clips of me dying. I really hope I didn't. But knowing me, I probably did. Just, just, just to add salt in the wound. Really good. Upper. You spin me right around, baby, right around. Like a heck of baby, right around, right around. That was fun. Anyways. Headshot. I wonder how many headshots we'll have uh, at the end of this uh, map. Like this round. Fuck, I missed. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't miss that time. Ah. And one for you. Let's go. Oh, in a max ammo. That's actually not like it. That's actually not good because we literally just got max ammo. Ugh. Uh, round seven, let's go. You know, sooner or later, we're gonna have to train them, I think. By round ten, we're gonna have to train the zombies. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Can I, like, not miss, please? Thank you. Bruh, I take too much time to fucking line up a shot with the freaking Shiva. You have no idea. Never mind. We're gonna have to train on round seven, I think. But apparently, I can't hit a goddamn shot. Okay, I didn't know that that can happen. Oh, I got hit in the ass. Jesus Christ. I completely forgot we have a uh, quicker five, so we can be gutsy if we really want to. And we got a lot of ammo too, so that's pretty good. Wait, what? You can call Tran? Wait, what? Huh? What do you mean, call Tran? Oh, we got max ammo. I did not need max ammo. If anything, I need freaking nuke. That's cool. You can call it a tramp. Is that like a round thing or is that just a... Um, hold on. Let's just... Kill all these zombies. Now... Insta kill is like the best thing to get on these type of challenges because it makes it ten times easier to kill the goddamn zombies. I mean, it's insta kill, so of course it's gonna make it easier to kill the zombies because one hit, one kill. Um, that was way too many zombies. Why are zombies just spawning there? Oh my god, that's wild. Like, just see on how many zombies that are like in that corner. Jesus Christ, that must be a really good spawn for them. Jesus Christ. Round nine, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna get it, get to round twelve, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. I mean, I have a pack a punch gun, so realistically, I should be getting to like at least round sixteen or round twenty. Realistically. I think starter room challenges are made easier due to the double gums. So with the Black Ops 6 uh, coming out, I think what I might do is do the starter room challenge uh, for the Black Ops 6 maps, which would be pretty interesting. And I hope that the um, double gums are um, like the double gum machine is in the starter room areas. That'd be pretty cool. Jesus Christ. The training techniques are not that good at the moment. Let's be honest here. 
I have done better. Or I have seen better, that's for damn sure. And we survived the round, that, that's pretty good. And we'll quickly just get ammo, because we have nothing else to spend money on. I mean, we could probably just... Hit the gobble gum real quick. Don't need that, I'm not wasting that on a starter room challenge. We don't need to get to round 20. <laughs> not on this goddamn challenge. I mean, it'll be a flex, but it wouldn't, like, mean anything, really, in my opinion. Oh my god, minigun, yes! And it's just at the start of the round, too, so this is great. Ooh, that... F oh, that freaking hurt. Oh my freaking god, we need to get uh, quick revive. Holy shit, that was a bloody... Plus the fuck. Oh, please get it, get it, get it. Thank you. Oh shit, we're gonna have to. Go find a stand here. Never mind. Dumb zombies. Thinking you stand a chance. You don't stand a chance against A2. Shit. This is not good. The Panzer is not good. Ah, we need to get. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead because the Panzer likes to shoot fucking blue freaking semen at me and apparently freaking stuns me. Ugh. That's the fucking second time I've died to a freaking mini boss. And the, and the other time I died, I died because I threw a grenade at my goddamn feet. You don't get that kind of content anywhere else. But freaking! Uh, uh. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you all in the next one.